This is Russell Letterman from Dankmeyer Optical. Um, we get questions about tightening the interpupillary tension. The fold may become a little too loose. You may want it a little tighter, maybe even a little looser. Well, anyway, here's how you change the interpupillary tension. You open the bino viewer nice and wide, and you'll see that the center logo cap can thread off counterclockwise. So we're going to unthread that center logo cap. We're going to remove it. And now you're going to see that there are four holes. Let's try to get a better focus here. And four holes, two of these holes happen to have small slot head screws in them. You're going to back those screws out just a little bit, and then you're going to use a sharp instrument, maybe a precision screwdriver, and you're going to push this clockwise. That will tighten up the interpupillary tension. You'll tighten down those screws again, and that'll further tighten it up just a little. Before you put the cap back on, just test it out, see how it feels, see how the tension feels. If it feels right, just put that cap back on. And, you know, when I collimate these bino viewers and I set the tension, I thread the cap on, but I do not thread the cap on so tightly that it becomes very difficult for somebody to grip and release. So right about there we just want to kind of just snug it in just a little and it should be nice and straight because that's how we uh, put them together so that that logo is upright when the bino viewer is just about like that. Okay so thank you.